Okay, so you want to use multi-level lists in your Microsoft Word document. Let's look at a really easy way of doing this to start with. Here's my list, I'm gonna select it. And then on the home tab of my ribbon in the paragraph group, I'm gonna use this little button here, multi-level list. And I want outline numbering to begin with. So it's this button here. And all I have to do to use that outline numbering system is to just indent the relevant numbered paragraphs. So for example, if I click before the E of Excel and then press tab on my keyboard, I get a 1.1. And then if I wanted to indent pivot tables under Excel, I'd tab twice. Macros, I would tab twice. Word, I'd tab once. Mail merge twice, forms twice. And you can see how this works. Google Workspace would be point number two, and then these would all be indented. Okay, so at a very simple level, that's how it works. Now, if I wanted to change the indentation that's being used by default, I'd probably select the list. I'd go up to here, and I'd go to define new multi-level list at the bottom here. So you can see the three levels that are being used. I'll show you down here how the numbering works for the different levels. So I've got level one, it looks like this level two like this, level three like this. Now let's just look at the indentation settings for the different levels. So by default, the text is indented at 0.63 of a centimeter. So that's this text here. And the numbering is aligned at naught centimeters. So you can see this for level one. But level two is aligned at 0.63 centimeters. So that's the number and the text is aligned at 1.4 centimeters. So I can change these settings. If I go back to one, let's say I want to have the text indent at 0.5. Now, if I wanted all subsequent levels to be indented by 0.5 of a centimeter, I can go to set for all levels and then just put 0.5 in this box here, additional indent for each level 0.5. If I click on okay, you can see it's applied those settings. Now, if we want a different numbering setting, let's show you how we would do that. So I'd get back to define new multi-level list. And then for level two, at the moment I've got a normal number there, but I'm gonna delete that. And I'm gonna specify a different style. I'm gonna say I want a Roman numeral. Then for level three, you can see it's already captured the level two setting, but I'm going to specify that I want a letter for level three. So I just choose a lowercase letter in this instance. So if I now click on OK, you can see it applies that new numbering system. Now you do have to watch your indentation settings. For example, down here, you can see slides has been pushed out a little bit. And also we've got massive gaps here. So I'm actually going to increase the text indent setting. So I'll go up to my multi-level list button to find new multi-level list and I'll increase it to 0.8 for all levels. Click on OK and then on OK again and you can see that that looks probably a little bit better. A little tip if you're numbering paragraphs, if I select the whole of this document and apply say this outline numbering, I can indent paragraphs and you'll see that it follows the normal numbering system but there is no space between the paragraphs now if you want to get around that just select the whole document go to the paragraph launcher and untick this option don't add space between paragraphs of the same style make sure that's unticked click on ok and it will reinstate the spacing between your paragraphs now, the other scenario where you might want to use multi-level lists is on headings. So I've got a document here where I'm going to apply heading style. So this is my main heading here, heading one. That's going to be a heading two. This is going to be a heading three. This is also going to be a heading three. This is a heading two. This is a heading three. So it's this, and I've got my last heading two, 
and then a couple of heading threes. Okay, so I want to number these headings. Now to do that, what I would do is I click into the first heading, say, and then I go up to my multi-level list button. And you can see here there's an option built into Word where it basically associates the heading styles with these numbered levels. So if I click on it, you can see it automatically applies that numbering style to each of my headings. Now that's okay, but say I didn't want the main heading to be numbered. I would want the numbering to start with the heading twos. Now to do that, I can go up to this drop down, define new multi-level list, and then click on this more button. So what I can do here is associate each of these list levels with a particular style. So at the moment, list level one is linked to heading one. Well, I'm gonna say, actually I want to link it to heading two. And then list level two, I'm gonna to link to heading three. So if I now click on OK, it does something funny up here. It's applied the heading two style. So I just change that back to heading one. But you can see now it's applied the appropriate numbering to the remainder of the headings. Now, another thing that Word enables you to do is to create what it calls a list style. Now, quite hard to see it down here at the bottom, but this bottom option here, define new list style, I can hardly read it, but I'll open it up. So I'll just call this test list style. And so what I can do here is specify for each level the type of numbering I want. So for the first level, I'm going to say I want uppercase letters. The second level, I'm going to say I want lowercase letters. And for the third level, I'm going to go for Roman numerals. And then for the fourth level, I'm going to choose for argument's sake, this option here, one, two, three, just to make it obvious what we're doing. So if I then choose this option, new documents based on this template, what it will mean is it will save this list style, test list style, to the normal template. So if I click on OK, and then I create a new document, you should be able to see this new list style available in this list styles library. So there it is here. So you can see how it works. And then the last indented level should have that word one and it will continue the numbering. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.